alles gut für ihr Herz. Der Grund trimmt sie am Down für den Winter. So, you're gonna be in good shape to come, to come back here for heavy skiing or heavy ski touring. And, uh, and maybe come back in the fall when the bucks are gone. My favorite part about coming to the mountains is just the ability to escape, right? You escape the harsh, rough city life. Everything's quick and you have to do a thousand things at once and you run from one place to the next and it's everything so fast and yeah, fast paced really and you come up here and there's nothing. I love the mountains. I grew up in the mountains. I grew up in a little town called the Cusp, which is about 150 miles south of where we are right now, maybe 100 miles south. So I was always in the in the mountains. Uh, my earliest experience I can remember I was about four years old, five years old, and it was my dad packing me on his back up to the, the Cusp hot springs.
what I like about them is their permanency. They're here and they're always here and they're, they sort of become like friends once you've climbed them and you get to know them better. And I also love living up here with my kids because they come home every summer and we just get to spend time together and walk up mountains and just enjoy being outside with no interruptions. Hi guys, we're almost at Lower Goat Cafe and then after that we're going to go up to Upper Goat Cafe. Um, but as you can see behind me, here's Duran Glacier. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but down there, the little red roof that you can see, that's from the chalet. Um, and down there on those rocks where the river is streaming by, we came up that to come up here to this trail. So today's been a good day. We've been into our hike for almost four hours, three hours and 48 minutes. Um, we made it up from uh, you know, Lower Goat Cafe to Middle Goat to Upper Goat Cafe. And unfortunately we thought there would be cappuccinos and lattes served, but there was actually not really a cafe. So that was a little disappointing, but the views were amazing. And um, you know, we saw the other side of Durant Glacier and um, yeah, then we came down the shorter way and we're about you know, one third down the way. Prost. <laughs> <laughs>
first summer I body put in a thousand miles hiking all the different trails and backcountry and Glacier National Park, Mount Revelstoke National Park, Yoho National Park, and the list goes on and on. They're so big, they kind of put the rest of the world in perspective. Uh, I don't know, you can have any kind of problem going on in your life, but you come out here and you've got these giant mountains that have been around for hundreds of thousands of years, and everything else just seems so small. Mm -hmm. 